everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on single and placing. <laughs> Just flew off into space. It's kind of how I feel. <laughs> how are you? I hope everyone's doing fantastic. Um, I'm just grabbing some scissors. Um, yeah, I hope you're doing well. I hope you I hope you've had a great day, weekday, weekend, evening, overnight, whatever you've got going on. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, today we have a little special edition um, small shop unboxing that I wanted to share with you all. Just a couple little things that um, popped in the or showed up in the mail um, over the past couple of days. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm going to start with this little uh, package here. This is from a brand new or I guess a company that I haven't shopped from before or a brand I haven't shopped from before. Um, and I decided to pick a couple things up just because I hadn't heard very many people mention the, the small shop. So I wanted to learn some more about it and maybe test out the products for, um, for everyone just in case you hadn't heard of them. And the name of the company is called Diamond Art Supply. It looks like it's a small um, shop owned by the owner's name is Angela and it looks like it's uh, based out of Kansas. So um, they've got a bunch of different waxes, a bunch of different putties, a whole a whole bunch of things to pick from. But I am on a putty freak out right now, I guess. <laughs> so I decided to pick up a couple of the putties. They looked really interesting. Um, and hopefully we'll see, you'll see what I mean as far as interesting. Whoa, right away. Don't those look cool? Um, so I got a little thank you card. I, I appreciate your uh, support. I hope you love your new goodies. If you have any issues with your purchase, uh, please feel free to message me directly to resolve the problem. Please consider giving my, me a review on your order as it helps my business grow. Diamond Art Supply Etsy. Very cool. So um, I don't think there's an invoice in here, but I got two of their, what they're calling their Tiki Tack. T-I-K-I-T-A-C-K. -I -I <laughs> and I believe I got, yes. Okay, so this is what I thought was really cool. If you look at these putties, they're like in this curled swirl. And then, um, ooh, marshmallow pumpkin. So we have our scents here and cucumber melon. And there's like little pieces of glitter in there. It's just a really unique packaging. So I, it, my eye was really drawn to them. So I figured I'd give them a shot. So let's take a, a, a whiff, a whiff of, um, Pum marshmallow pumpkin. Oh, ooh, that's nice. It's like a sweet, mostly marshmallow, but a, it's almost like a pumpkin spice is kind of what it smells like. Isn't that cool, the pattern in there? So there's that. Yeah, and it's just a, it's kind of rolled up putty. I'm curious to see how they're able to do that. And then we've got our cucumber melon. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> well, it smells really good. It smells like um, uh, grape, like um, the bubblicious, that super, super bubble bubble gum, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it smells like that, the grape version. I could see where you'd get maybe some melon, but it's not, it's not exactly what I was expecting. It's still good though. Interesting. Yeah, I can't wait to start using this stuff. It looks like um, it's kind of rolled like into like a snake <laughs> and then swirled into the, um, into the um, container. Okay, so um, I'm gonna pause you for just one second um, and then we're gonna move into the next package. Hold on just a second. I'm just gonna move you. Okay, sorry about that. Um, my phone was saying I'm about to die, but then I couldn't see the screen anymore so I was like I can't, I can't see what they're seeing all right so this is our next box and this is from enablers outpost um enablers outpost does pens and diamond paintings and putty and all sorts of cool stuff and I've been uh, to be honest I've been diamond painting pens was kind of the last accessory that I started to purchase more. I got my two pens from Norse Alchemist earlier in the year and I was like, this is all I'll need. I'm not going to have a ton of pens. And then lo and behold, <laughs> I wanted to start exploring some other companies. So I did get one Enablers Outpost pen already. I've gotten a few from, um, from Distracted by Diamonds just in some gift sets. 
So I wanted to I wanted to try some different thicknesses of pens and do a variety. So um, luckily, a neighbor's outpost had a Black Friday sale where they did buy two get one free. So I was able to pick up three pens of varying widths because I want to just test out to see maybe a different width will feel different in my hand or I'll be more comfortable um, diamond painting longer with certain um, certain pens. So I love that Enablers Outpost provides a few different sizes um, for you to try. So let's go ahead. Oh, it says, thank you, Anthony, on the side of the box. Oh my gosh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. I'm going to try to flip it so that way I can't see the pens. Okay. Oh, I already see one. Oh, how cool. No way. Okay, all right, flip it, flip it, flip it. Oh my goodness. There's a Sudoku that they popped in here for me. Thank you. They're probably like, he needs to learn his numbers. Okay, I already saw one and that was cool. Um, all right, so we've got some uh, different things here. We have an Enablers Outpost sticker. We've got a um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas sticker. I hope that's right. Um, a snowflake and a reindeer. Awesome. I have a bunch of stickers um, from just the past couple orders I've made from a, a few different shops. So I need to, I need to stick them on my, I put them on my little storage bins. Um, and a whole mess of candy. We've got banana, grape, strawberry. I love warheads. So they gave me plenty of those. Some Smarties, some Dum Dum Pops, lemon head. Oh, great. That will be my dinner. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about these pens. I already revealed one if you if you saw it. Okay, so let's I know what that one is. Let's go ahead and flip this. Whoa, how cool. I need to I I don't know the names of the I don't know if they name their blanks. Um and if I remember, I'll try to maybe I can pull it up and give you the sizing. Hold on just one second. Okay, I just took a look at my um my little receipt online. It looks like I, I don't think now that they're gone, I can pull them up anymore. I wanted to give you the sizing. Hopefully we can lay them out next to each other and figure out which one is which because I got a standard, I got a standard chunky, and then I got a thick. So we'll see if we can identify the size differences. But look at this first one here. Oh my gosh, the glitter. So I picked this one out. I thought this would be really good for any ocean or sea themed under the sea themed kits that I did. Also any rainbow kits, I thought this would look really good. So it's got this like um, aquamarine greenish glitter just like all inside of it. Isn't that beautiful? I like this size. Uh, most of my other pens are um, thin, I've decided. Like I, even if they hadn't said if they're thin or not, they're mostly thin. So there's the first one. Holy moly. Okay, so let's set that here. Each one of these comes, um, I'm going to assume these will all have the, um, the same stuff in them. It's a four and a seven multi-placer in there. So there's one pen. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to use one of my little Mooney made <laughs> dividers just to uh, give that some place to rest. Oops, oops, maybe. Okay. Okay, next one. Are you ready? Whoa, that is so cool. They do such a good job. It's just, it's amazing. These small shops are just awesome. All right, we've got the four and the seven placer tucked in there. But here's this pen. I'm assuming this might be the standard. This looks pretty thin. But these feel, I love that this feels nice and light. And I like the turning on it. I don't want, um, I like it when there's a little bit more of a pronounced um, bump at the end. Looks cool. So this one I thought would look good with uh, drills and chills or witches. It was giving me Halloween vibes, but I could also see using it in some of like the darker kits too. So yeah, there you go. Darker themed kits. Boop. All right, here's the last one. You already saw it. I already saw it. This thing's huge. This must be the thick pen. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I think we've got standard, standard, chunky, and then this is thick pen. Look at that. So this one has like uh, shades of pink, but then there's like that silver glitter on the inside. 
I'm really curious. I think I'm going to try using this tonight. I just, I have been noticing that my hand's been getting a little cramped if I'm single placing a lot with those thinner pens. So that's why I wanted to try some different sizes. But yeah, this one's really cool. Um, I got this, obviously, I think it would good, look good with any rainbow kits, but I have a lot of pink stuff, surprisingly, in my stash um, as far as a kit. So I think this would match with a lot of them. So there's, wow, look at the, um, so that kind of gives you an idea of what the size difference is. So standard, standard, chunky, thick. Um, I don't have a preference on like how uh, the length of pens necessarily, um, but I did, it took me a little bit of getting used to with my Norse Alchemist um, shorter pen because I had never used a short one before, so, um, or shorter pen. So I just took a little bit of getting used to because when I, I'd flip it, my hand, I, I don't know, I feel like when you change like the shape of the pen drastically, like as you're working, it's hard to, because you have that muscle memory of placing, placing, so... There's my three enablers outpost pens, all uh, very different styles, not at all what I would what I originally thought was my um, my style. Now I'm just kind of I want to pick out a few colors that'll match some various kits and and go that route. So there's those. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, um, Elizabeth and Edward, for the hard work on pen churning. Thank you so much uh, from I believe was it Angela. Uh, yeah, Angela over at, um, oh my gosh, Diamond Art Supply for the putties. I'm super excited to maybe try one of these putties out with one of these new pens for the first time. These look like they would match well. So yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any questions, comments. If you have purchased from either one of these small shops before, um, let me know what uh, you ended up picking up or what your experience has been. I love getting additional data points and... Um, yeah, I guess we'll chat again on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of it. Otherwise, we'll see you again soon. Happy placing. Bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye. -bye -bye -bye. Bye.